Hi everyone, it's John Morley and welcome to my channel, Positive Vibrational Vibes. Hope everybody's been having a great week. And tonight, what I thought I would talk to you about, being being uh, today, my day's been a little bit busy. I try to get these out in the morning, uh, but definitely before I go to sleep. And I do try to uh, do a video every day. One of the things that I wanted to talk about when we think about goal setting and we think about, you know, being positive and, you know, watching our words and stuff like that, it's a little more than that. You have to really believe in yourself that you're going to achieve what you want to achieve. So what I thought we would do uh, today or tonight, actually, is I thought we would do another um, meditation session. And in this session, we're actually going to help program you to understand your full potential and to give you some insights into how to have more control. So what I need you to do right now is to take your cell phone, um, if um, just so you can basically mute it so no calls come in. If you're listening to it, obviously you can't turn it off. Otherwise, just make sure you're not gonna be disturbed. Uh, make sure your phone's on do not disturb, make sure your door's closed, there's a sign on your door if you're not alone, just so that um, this is your time, okay? And so what I'd like you to do is just get comfortable right now, and uh, if you need a few moments to do that, just go ahead and put me on pause. And when you're ready, uh, either change the clothing you're wearing or become a little more comfortable or got in a position that you're going to be more comfortable in, go ahead and then um, unpause the video and I'll be right here to help you. All right, well, welcome back. So you're either laying uh, on your bed on the floor with some pillows or maybe you're in your favorite chair. Whatever it is is perfectly fine and you're hopefully in some loose clothing uh, that's gonna allow you to relax and uh, not inhibit you from um, you know, going down into um, hypnosis, which is what we've done a couple of times. So tonight uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different than we normally do. We're gonna do the three deep breaths just to relax you. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a deep breath, just inhale, hold it, hold it, hold it, and exhale all the way out. Let's inhale again, hold it, hold it, hold it, and exhale all the way out. Good, and one more time. Inhale, 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 hold it, and exhale all the way out. Now, you probably feel pretty good right now, but I, what I'd like you to do is that I'd like you to notice a spot on the ceiling or the wall. Can you do that for me? Great. Go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and zone in on that spot. And just try to keep from blinking as long as possible. I'm going to count backwards now from 10 to 1. And as I do, your body's going to become more relaxed and your eyelids are going to become a little bit more fatigued and wanting to close until I get to one. In fact, they may close before I get to one, and that's perfectly okay. But your eyes are going to become a little bit harder to keep open. They're going to feel heavier. They may blink, and that's perfectly fine. So go ahead now and focus on that spot on the wall or the ceiling and try to keep from blinking as long as possible. Ten. You're starting to notice that spot. Nine, noticing that spot, it might be getting a little bit distant to you, maybe a little bit harder to focus. You may be getting just a little bit tired. Eight, your eyes are sensing that they want to close, but you're trying to keep them open. Seven, your eyelids might have blinked once or twice, and that's okay. They're becoming a little bit heavier, a little bit more relaxed. And it's becoming harder and harder to keep your eyes open. Seven, you really want to keep the eyes open to look at that spot, but you know it's just getting harder and harder. And it's like the Sandman has come and put in sand dust into your eyes. Seven and six, they're getting harder and harder, and I'm sure they've blinked once or twice. Five, they're getting harder and harder to keep open. And your body's starting to just relax, your mind, body. Five, getting more and more relaxed as your eyelids are starting to just have such a job to stay open. They may have blinked even more. Four, it's getting harder and harder for them to stay open. You're desiring it. It is so as it is bringing you into a deep sense of relaxation. 
four, three. They're coming very, very hard to keep open now. Two, and really, really difficult to keep open. And one, your eyelids just have to close if they haven't closed already. Go ahead and close them now. Fantastic. Your mind and body will continue to relax more and more each time you practice with me and on your own. Go ahead now, as I count back from 10 to 1, and just allow your whole body to just release any stress or any tension out through the pillow or the bed, like it's a magnet pulling out the stress and tension. Or maybe you'd like to imagine that the tension is just sort of just flowing out of your fingertips or just out of your toes, whatever is good for you and there's nothing to be judged, whatever's going to work for you. All right, 10. Starting to feel a little bit of the stress and tension just start to just ooze out of your body very, very gently. Nine, feel the stress and tension just pulling out a little bit more, starting to get a little more relaxed. And as you're starting to become more relaxed, your eyelids are just starting to sink just a little bit deeper. Even though they're closed, they're just sort of sinking a little bit deeper so that the muscles that were holding them are just sort of even totally relaxing so that they just kind of let your eyelids sink deeper even though they're closed. Eight, they're sinking a little bit deeper now, a little bit deeper. Seven, a little bit deeper. Six, your eyelids don't want to open. They just want to just close and relax. Five, deeper and deeper. Four, deeper and deeper. Three, deeper and deeper. Two, deeper and deeper. And one, they are so deeply relaxed. You feel so relaxed. It feels so wonderful to be relaxed like this. I'm going to count backwards now from 10 to 1. As I count backwards from 10 to 1, I'd like you to imagine yourself going down a set of stairs. They are very safe, they are carpeted, and they're railings. And it's actually a spiral staircase. And you're going to start to go down the steps with me now as we count backwards from 10 to 1. 10, taking the first step with your foot, sinking right into the carpet. Feels so good as you just release that stress. Nine, the next foot is taking another step down that staircase, spiraling down. Eight, another step, more stress released as you just sink deeper and deeper. That's it. Seven, sinking deeper and deeper as you go down the spiraling staircase. Six, just going deeper and just sinking and let your whole body go. Five, deeper and deeper. Four, deeper and deeper, sinking deeper and deeper. Three, down deeper. Two deeper, one deeper, and deeper and deeper you go. And as you continue to relax and you continue to hear my voice, you start to notice and pay attention only to my voice. Just relaxing and taking yourself deeper and deeper, enjoying how this feels. Just relaxing deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Now what I'd like you to do in a moment is I'd like you to just imagine when I say the number 10, a cloud above your head. 10. See a cloud above your head and put any stress or tension of any situation that might have been bothering you during the day in that big cloud and just whew, let it just float away. Nine, another cloud with thoughts of maybe confusion frustration, or any type of challenges that are stressing your body, and whew, let it just float away. Eight, another cloud appears, another thought. Just let it go into the cloud and just let it whew, right away. You're doing just fine. And eight, another cloud, another thought, and just letting it whew, just float away. Seven, another cloud with another thought. And just let it all go. And six, another cloud, another thought. You're sitting at right away. And five, another cloud, another thought. And just letting it blow right away up into the sky. Four, another cloud, another thought. Just letting it low right away. Three, another cloud, another thought, and whew, letting it float all the way away. Two, another cloud, another thought, and just letting it floating away. Whew. 
Add one, another cloud, another thought. Put all the challenges you still have in that cloud and just whoosh, let it float away. And as it continues to float away, all the other clouds continue to float away. And they now have no more control of your mind and body. All the stress and tension that you had is now relieved. And your mind and body should feel more relieved and more relaxed. Now that your body is completely relaxed, what I want you to understand is what you are needing to do, which is programming your mind and body for success. Realizing that you are the one that makes the decisions. You are the only person that can make yourself feel bad. No one can have that control over you. I want you just to notice now that any time you start to sense that you're losing control, you need to positively take affirmative action to the situation. Still being polite, but just realizing that it's okay to say no. And it's okay to think about you, yourself, and do what's best for you. It is okay to take care of you. And remember that to be successful, you need to have your daily rituals, your daily commitments, things like the rocks or the crystals and how we say thank you and think about all the things we're grat grateful for every single day. And being successful is not just listening to a recording one time or you know, doing hypnosis one time. This is a process and you will get better with it as we traverse through the days as you're listening and watching me. I know that right now there are so many things probably still in your head. Hopefully they're starting to dissipate. Realizing that you can do anything you set your mind to. It may seem hard, but you just need to focus on little compartments at a time. I want you to realize right now that anything you want is possible. When I count from five to one, I want you to imagine yourself in that beautiful movie theater that we were in yesterday. If this is a new video to you and you didn't listen to the previous ones, when I count backwards from five to one, you're going to appear in one of the largest movie theaters you've ever been in. You'll see yourself walking into the theater. There'll be no pre-show playing. The lights will be dimmed and no one else will be there. It'll be the right color, the right temperature. Five, four, at the theater, three, approaching the door, two, putting your left or right hand on the door, just feeling the door, what it senses like, the temperature of the handle. Two, starting to feel the weight of the door as you pull the door open. And one, the door is open. You start to walk inside. And as you walk inside, you can start to sense the carpet as you walk down the aisle, the center aisle, that is. And as you walk down that center aisle, you pick the seat that is most comfortable for you. Sitting in the seat, relaxed, and looking at that great big white screen, which has nothing on it right now. But when I count back from five to one, you're going to project the goal that you wish to achieve on that screen. You're gonna project what it is you want. If it's money, you'll project money. If it's a relationship, you'll project a relationship. If it's something at work, you'll see the situation the way you want it to play out. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna use abundance right now, it's the easiest one, but you can use whatever you want. Picturing your goal, picturing money, Whatever it is, just picture it. Just picture the sense of it. How are you feeling right now? What does it feel like in the room? What's the temperature like? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? As your goal is actually coming to reality right now, this is true belief and reality. How are you feeling now that your goal has been achieved? What does it feel like to have this abundance, to have this relationship, to have this money? What does it feel like inside? How is your heart beating? And as you're watching yourself in the movie on the screen, 
achieve this life and notice how it's feeling. Every positive emotion you can feel about this is going through you right now and is starting to intensify now more and more each time you practice with me. I'm going to count backwards from five to one. And when I do, all the positive intentions and feelings that you have and senses will be increased ten times. Five, four, three, two, one. All the senses and positive emotions have now been amplified ten times. And as you're watching yourself on the screen and seeing the life that you are now creating. You are manifesting your desires. This is truly reality. I'm gonna count backwards now from five to one. At this time, I want you to take yourself and put yourself right into that screen. You're gonna put yourself right into you, the you on that screen. Five, four, looking at the you on that screen. Three, Two and one, just zooming yourself right into yourself on the screen. Feeling right now all the feelings and the emotions that you felt before, but now this is really you. Now you're not watching yourself. This is you. You have actually created this reality. Visualization is so very powerful. And it can change and shape your life. But it has to be practiced daily. And you have to make sure that not only are you practicing it daily, but that you truly believe and that you feel. For when you feel, you manifest second. You have to feel the life you want to experience, and then manifestation is your reality. Now, I know this may seem a little foreign to some of you, and that's okay. It did when I first started this many years ago. But just realize, this is a new tool that I'm teaching you. It is a visualization tool. And you need to first relax and drop down so that you can just close your eyes and be able to visualize. It'll become easier and easier for you. That's it. Just enjoying how this life feels. Enjoy how you're able to do the things you want to do now. Enjoy how it's feeling. Enjoy how your heart's feeling. Enjoy how your health is. Enjoy all the things you're doing and experiencing because this is your new life, the life that you want to achieve. In a moment, I'm going to count back up from one to five. And at five, your eyes will be open. You'll be wide awake in perfect health, feeling much better than you did before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing. Eyesight clear. No buzzing your ears. No unclear vision. Eyesight, hearing, and vision will improve every time you function within these levels of the mind. One. I want you to start feeling the energy coming in just through your toes. Very, very slowly and starting to get into your feet. Two. Starting to get up to your shins and knees. Three. Getting up into your thighs. Three and a half. Getting up into the pelvic region. Four, getting up into your stomach. Four and a half, getting up to your upper chest and heart. Getting all the way up into your throat. All the way up into the side, into your arms, into your fingertips. Starting to feel how alive you are. And five, up to your face and eyes and open your eyes. Feeling fine, wide awake, in perfect health. Feeling much better than you did before. So the question I have for you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is how do you feel? I bet you feel pretty awesome. I know you probably feel very relaxed, and I know that felt pretty good, and you're like, well, where is it? Well, remember, when you think about something, you visualize something, it doesn't happen in 24 hours. It doesn't happen in five minutes. It's going to start to create a natural progression inside you to help you to take the actions that you need and to respond in the way you need to to be able to achieve these goals, Remember, what we're doing here is we are changing the software in your body, which is your subconscious in the um, cortex, as we talked about. So again, this is not a magic bullet that works overnight. 
It usually takes 7, 14 to 30 days before you start to see some major results. But the good thing is you're going to start to feel better about yourself. And I think that's the most important thing is that understanding that you can do whatever you want to do. Remember I said this before in one of my very first tracks, being successful means that you can achieve what you want to achieve without damaging or harming anyone else, anyone else's life. That's really important. You get to be the you that you want to be without raining on someone else's parade or hurting or harming someone else. That's what success is. It's letting you live at your pinnacle. Now, that's not saying that you can't be competitive, but it's just saying that you have to be understanding that you don't have a right to put people down. You don't have a right to, you know, be nasty to people. That's not your right. And I think as you start to watch more of my tracks on positive vibrational waves, I'm hoping that this will start to take shape with you. And you'll start to understand that it's more than just me in the world, that there is energy and there are forces in the world. And the forces are here just like gravity and inertia. The forces are in our body and they're in the world. And when we learn how to use these different forces, we can shape the reality that we want. Just like a carpenter, if he or she knows how to use a saw or use a drill uh, or a hammer, okay, or a coping saw or hacks, whatever it is, um, we're able to do some pretty remarkable things with those tools. But if we don't know how to use those tools, then we can't build anything. We're lucky we can build a box. Or let's take a, a chef that um, makes cakes, uh, a bakery. Uh, you know, they have to know how to use the, the pipettes for putting on um, the uh, flowers or the different direct decorations on the cake. They have to know how to use um, their tools. They have to know how to use a, a mixer. They have to know how to use... Uh, measuring cups. Uh, sometimes in French, they call it mise en place, uh, when you basically balance everything out and make sure everything's pre-measured before you actually start. Uh, understanding timing, understanding how to use an oven, understanding certain type of techniques. Maybe it's folding with a, uh, with a certain uh, implement you use in, in baking. Or, or, um. So this is really important. And if you don't understand how to use those tools, then you can't make a cake. So you have to know how to use your tools. And unfortunately, the human body wasn't given to us with a manual. So hypnosis and visualization is the manual that you and your body have been missing for years. So that's a lot of what I'm going to be sharing with you is kind of the body is 101 manual, the manual that was never written. And I think what's going to really happen with a lot of you is you're going to start to say like, oh, I get it. I get it. And that's what I'm hoping you're going to get out of my channel is that a lot of this stuff is not hard. It's just practicing and understanding a technique that is going to change your life. It's going to give you control so you can manage your life. Um, a wise person once said to me, you know, uh, people do drastic things in life, not because they're bad people, but because they lose control of their life. That can happen because of their finances, because of a relationship. There's lots of reasons that that can happen. But it happens for the primary reason that somebody loses control of their life. And they don't know how to handle it, how to manage it. So they turn to other uh, vices. And that's really what happens. So if you can just keep yourself in control. That is the key, one of the top keys of success, is keeping your mind and your body in control at all times. And if you can do that and, and stop the chattering monkeys uh, in your brain, then you truly can focus on the life that you want to achieve. And I think that's what's going to really surprise a lot of you, is that you actually have the skills to do this right now, what I'm going to do is teach you how to do it and give you the confidence so that you can see for yourself that you really can do this stuff, right? You really can do this stuff. Remember, we talked about anchoring the other day. Just to review, how do we do anchoring? Very simple. 
if you are, um, let's say, wanting to be, let's say, happy, or maybe you want to be alert and attentive, like you're getting ready to study for a test or something, and it's hard to get in that mode. So you picture when you were in that mode, and maybe you take a part of your body, it could be something as simple as holding the end of your elbow while you're reliving the situation where you're actually very attentive. And the next time you touch your elbow, you will automatically drop into that situation. It might take one, two, or three times to actually do that. And that's perfectly okay. Again, I hope today was very useful. We're going to be doing a lot more hypnosis sessions. Um, we're trying to keep them around the 20, 25 minute mark. Because I feel that if I just put you in hypnosis for five minutes, you're not going to get anything out of it. The other thing you're going to realize is that in hypnosis, the time just seems like it just it goes like that. I mean, it just kind of flies by. And that's a real way you know that your body is actually under. And what I mean by under, it's not a bad word. Under just means that your conscious mind has basically kind of went to the side. And your subconscious mind is now listening. So that's what we do. We basically quiet the chattering monkeys in your head so that the rest of those thoughts you're thinking about can just be moved to the side. You're desiring this to remember something. Any of the hypnosis sessions that we do here together, whether you do them with me or anyone else or yourself, you are the one that puts yourself into these situations. I guide you, but it is your trust in me and it is your willingness to want to do this that actually makes it a reality. I'm just a facilitator that helps you understand how to do it. But if you say, hey, I don't want to do this, you can break yourself and get out of hypnosis at any time. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So we're going to do a lot of stuff. And most of our sessions are going to be um, relaxation and meditation sessions. And the most important thing I want to let you know is that you don't ever want to listen to this while you're driving or anything like that. If it is a regular track, and we're not going to do any type of hypnosis or relaxation sessions. I'll let you know that, and then that's fine to be listened anywhere. But a lot of these recordings that you're going to be watching is going to be, we're going to be taking a situation and maybe dissecting it and figure out how do we make that situation go better. And I'm going to end on this note. There may be someone in your life, okay? And that particular person in your life always seems like you're the one that has to do the initiating. And that's okay. But the problem is, if the other person is always the initiator, how do you really know, um, let's say it's, it, the card is reversed, where you're always the initiator, and they're the one uh, that doesn't always initiate. The problem with that is, how do you really know that person, let's just say, has an interest in you? How do you really know that, you know, they're not just being polite? How do you know that? How do you know that's someone that has your best interest in mind? A lot of times, ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to see out there through programs and lots of different commercials, they're not there for your best interest. I got news for you. They're there for a higher power, which is to get you to spend a lot of money. My goal here is to get you to become a better you, because if we keep pushing ourselves to be a better you, then we're going to help you, Maddie. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed uh today's session, and I look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. Be sure to share this with your friends, colleagues, and also please be sure, if you liked it, to click on the subscribe button there at the bottom and click on the little bell notification icon so you can get notified of future videos that I publish. I wish you a great night, and I will see you tomorrow on my channel, Positive Vibrational Waves. And let your nights and days be full of positive vibrational waves to bring you the positivity and creativity and the amazing astoundingness that will change and impact the quality of your life to do things that you didn't even know were possible.